Hi guys, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what how to SQL query in source qualifier Informatica. So this is the lecture 7th of Informatica tutorials. So let's see. So this is the mapping designer. Let's track or this table, relational table inside the mapping, giving the mapping name m underscore sq underscore sql query. Let's press intro. So here this that's come from the Oracle database. So this table that's come from Oracle. Now if I go on this flat file tracking there. So this come from the flat file. Now let's go on this edit and here go on this properties. Then you can see all the properties of this source qualifier that's enabled there. But if you are going to use with flat file there except tracing level all properties are disabled. So that means or there when you are using go relational table then you can use so source qualifier or most of the properties. Then after the next is dragging their target or table employees TCT. So here let's so or stabilize the link. So the second point is there with the SQL query we can replace default query. So first going to show you the default query. So let's so save that. Go on this workflow manager and uh, let's create one new session. So this is here SQL query. This is the mapping is there. Now let's right click click on this edit. Mapping source this all looking fine and this no need to change except per this all looking fine now let's go on this task and here let's stabilize the link so one more time control s to save right click there then I start the task So task succeeded and now let's go on this get session log. So here you can see this is the default query that's so generated. Here you can see this is the default query that's generated by the source qualifier. SQ and this is the default query. So the next is here let's go on this so and we are going to truncate this table. So let's click on this truncate. Execute. So there is nothing inside there. And let's go on this designer. So this time click on this edit. Here properties and SQL query changing the values. So let's click on this standard SQL. So removing this all. So let's give you a select a star from employees and with where going to use row num less than equal to then right there select here count a star divide by 2 count star so aggregate function is there let's try it there from and here employees let's give their password and validate query and if you want to get this and log there and this time you can see 
targetable this time that's update statement sql update statements and update employees so this here due uh, due to i've given sql query value so that here you can see this performs the update statement that means this replaces their default query so this is the update statement and after this performing there and according to given the query that's loading the records so this is the important point is there applied and requested so the next important point is there so let's go on this source qualifier let's click on this edit properties here so first uh, removing this all generate sql that's fine and uh, removing this all except uh, one now uh, let's uh, click on this validate to match the fields so the, uh, here zone source qualifier so since uh, this are total ports are 11 so total ports are 11 and you have uh, uh, given this or uh, there i've given try 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 to give only form so that that's returning the error and now or uh, if i or uh, write there update update so is there okay so that means so with the source qualifier you can use only select a statement you cannot use drop, create, insert, or not sort of put it inside the source qualifier. And you can use select a statement with where, join, union, order by. You can try the sub queries as well. But only with the select a statement and there, you should give for there all. So if I cancel this, gender as well. So all the columns must be there all the fields that's come from the uh, source analyzer so that's must be there so all the columns all the ports must be there this is the condition of this when you are trying to use sql query inside there so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you